Hey Seawolves, Chancellor Sandine here with Adjust the Facts for February 19th, and this one is on the subject of expedited program reviews. Why are we doing expedited program reviews? Back in October, our regents voted to stop the one accreditation model and directed all of the chancellors to do their own expedited program reviews. We have a big cut, as you know, $70 million over three years, and the regents specifically directed us to look at academic programs as part of these reductions. So we will be consolidating, revising, and phasing out some academic programs at all of the UA campuses. Of course, we want to look at administration as well, so we're conducting some administrative program reviews. But basically, the regents have directed us to do this and we are following the Regents' direction. What is an expedited program review? The expedited program review process here at UAA will involve collecting data, both quantitative and qualitative, about all our programs. Now, the majority of them will be deemed as sustainable and strong, but because of our budget reduction and because of the directive from the Regents, we will be identifying some programs for revision or for phasing out. What can I expect? This will be a process. We'll start seeing some preliminary recommendations from deans at the end of February. There will be a period for feedback from everybody, faculty, staff, and external stakeholders. And then the chancellor, I, will make the final decision and final recommendations to the president and to the board at the end of March. The board will vote in June. So again, this will be a process and you will be involved. I also want to point out that we will be scheduling some listening sessions for staff, faculty, and students as we go through this process. What if my program is affected? It's important to remember that the majority of UAA degrees and certificates will continue, but because of the budget and the Regents' directive, some programs will be reduced or phased out. Doesn't mean they're bad programs, it's just the situation that we're in right now. If you're a student and you're affected by some of these changes, I want to assure you that we'll have comprehensive advising available for you and we will have degree completion options. We are here to support you. Where do I go if I have questions? As I mentioned before, we'll have a series of listening sessions for staff, faculty, and students where some of your questions can be answered. And for students, please seek out your academic advisors or your academic dean's office for further information. And I promise you, as we go through this, we will keep you informed.